Hi, I'm Bill Wolf uh, with the MVP program, and I'm here with uh, Richard Serrater of Mgen. And uh, Richard, uh, tell me a little bit about what you do. Sure, I'm a solutions architect at Amgen, which means that I help design some of our enterprise solutions as well as define best practices and patterns that the corporation abides by. Okay, and what, what is your uh, MVP specialty? My MVP is in BizTalk Server. BizTalk. With the Ooh, connected system. So they just things. had a brand new release, didn't they? Right. Were, were you involved in that in any way? Uh, definitely during the uh, initial bits. Uh, I participated in that and also wrote the first book that's available on BizTalk Server 2009 really? and we just and, released that. And through which publisher? Uh, Pact Publishing out of the UK. It's uh, okay. SOA Patterns with BizTalk Server 2009. Is that your first book? My first book. Excellent, excellent. Well, I hope that goes well for you. Likewise. But uh, so you've been using BizTalk for years? Yeah, I was actually on the uh, original beta of BizTalk 2000 nine years ago now. Oh my goodness. So, so. you know all about it. Have you ever done any work with RFID? Uh, only a little bit, and I um, actually uh, attended some sessions here and bartered my book for an RFID book with the author of that. So I'll be studying right, well, up on hopefully that. Hopefully that will come an opportunity for you. Uh, what, what do you think the coolest Microsoft technology is right now? Well, I'm really enjoying the uh, .NET services and seeing how I can put services in the cloud and use the Internet service bus and be able to connect my on-premises assets with partners, federated identity. There's a lot of neat stuff around So you're around working with Azure and uh, the service bus? Definitely. I think that's a pretty interesting way that most organizations are looking at the cloud. That so. is a hot technology, and we're anxious to see that released at yeah. some point. Uh, excellent. Uh, have you done any work with SQL data services in the cloud? Uh, I, have, I, I have my key. I need to use it and do write a few more of those services. So, so that's your homework? It's on the to-do list. <laughs> okay. That's right. Which so gets how longer. Long, how long have you been an MVP? Uh, only a year. So I've enjoyed yeah. it so far. Yeah. Did you go to the MVP Summit? I did. I went uh, to last year's and this year's and ah, I've enjoyed both so of them. So you caught both of them. That's I did. Just in time. So isn't that a great conference? It is. It's a lot that's of fun. It's one of my favorite things to go to. So what? what what did you really like about the MVP Summit this year? Uh, I mean, the product group interaction is great. The fact that we're sitting with pretty close-knit bunch and offering direct feedback and being able so to say we like this. So you were with the this. connected systems? Or? I was. Okay, you were. So that's more than just BizTalk. Definitely, looking at Oslo, looking at some of the yes, new modeling, WCF, looking at Dublin, new, yep, all that. Uh, Dublin. So tell us about Dublin. Uh, I think it's pretty interesting to be able to have a real quality, durable host for WCF and WF and have some of the management and the you know, something that makes people more confident when they're deploying a WCF. Right, yeah, and the market's going to need a book on that, too. That's right. There's uh, always There's looking for new topics. There's an opportunity for you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. What's your favorite part of being an MVP? Uh, it probably is the product group interactions, the fact that we have fairly regular conference calls and get to share information. And, you know, everyone likes insider information. I'll raise my hand and say I like it, too. And But you are under NDA. Remember that. Naturally. I don't. Yeah. Or else they kill us. <laughs> We're missing two MVPs that way. So it's, uh, it's good to see what's coming up, being able to offer right. feedback. And the team is very good in connected systems. So you about have a mailing list it. for the connected systems or for uh, There's talk? the online news groups as well as some other MVPs have set up their own email distribution okay. list, which is a very active. I, I, being a uh, Visual Basic MVP, we have a very active uh, mailing list and dozens and dozens of messages a day. So there's a lot of, ha a lot of interesting uh, things happen on that list. So. Okay, what do you uh, enjoy most about doing community things? Uh, I think it's rewarding to f not hoard knowledge, if you will. I know sometimes the human nature is to kind of keep the knowledge to yourself and think it adds value to what you do, but I find it more interesting to kind of share what I find out right away and make sure I'm not insane for do thinking you do a certain any thing. speaking or user group activity? Speak from time to time, user group from time to time, and have a very active blog where I share a lot of oh, what I'm working okay. on. So how often do you post to your blog? Uh, about twice a week, and oh, you know, it's uh, some tech ed posts have gotten picked up and gotten some fairly nice activity, and I think people are interested and in what we're working on. it's not just about what you did with your in-laws over the weekend? No, I actually try to keep that a little okay. separate and uh, make it purely <laughs> professional. That's Although awesome. I do interview a different uh, MVP every month on the blog, oh, that's and that's, a good that's thing. gotten well, to be popular. Feel free to give me a call, and that would be fun. There you go.